I'm going to show you a comparison of a Garrett GTX 35A UR versus a typical GTX 35A UR that you can buy off eBay that's unbranded. I'll just give you an idea of how well this spins. Now this is a genuine one. This is a true genuine Garrett shaft. This came out of a blouse turbo. This is staggered. This is a genuine Garrett bearing cage. So it's all one piece. This was the internals of this GT35R that was from some random company that sells them on eBay. I don't know exactly which company has them, but I, I'll just point out the differences in this one. You can see that these, this is like the internals of the ball bearing cage, but it's completely different. It had two separate races. This one just came apart. It's like it got eat up and then just fell apart. It probably just couldn't withstand the heat, but I don't really know for sure if that's what happened because I didn't actually do the rebuild on this. One of my employees did. This was in between the two bearing races. And this was one of the sleeves, I think, that went through the center there, like a spacer, is what the purpose of that was. And this is the shaft, so this is just one straight bore, no stagger in it. So that could cause some problems with this design, because it's not a press fit inside of this. I don't think this one would ever spin like a true Garrett ball bearing turbo, just the way that it's designed. This is the front collar, so that would be like the top of this piece right here with the piston ring seal. For some reason it had a thrust bearing that was cut open to be designed to sit there as a spacer. I thought that was really strange. This heat shield is actually the wrong one. This one is a GT28R heat shield, but you're supposed to have the GT35R heat shield. I guess it doesn't really matter, but it's supposed to have the other heat shield. You never see a GC35R with that heat shield. The bearing housing looked identical to a genuine ball bearing bearing housing from what I could tell. It was wore out though from where it failed, so we had to replace this one. Actually, it may not be the same because it's not bored all the way to the end in the back there. So it is a little bit different. It's definitely not a genuine Garrett quality turbocharger. So just make sure you know what you're buying when you send them the money for that turbo because it's not likely that you'll be able to get a warranty out of after buying one. Here's the difference in the turbine housing quality. This one is the knockoff. You can see how the end of the scroll ends really high. This is what I'm talking about right here. All the way back here. It should end to match right here or close to it to be able to increase spool. But because it's so far back, it's not going to have as good of spool characteristics. Now here's a genuine Garrett turbine housing. You can see how this is so much closer to this heat shield area here. Now this casting is not a GT35R one but it's the same casting used to be machined to the GT35R. That's why this one looks a little bit different. Here's a look at the compressor housing. This pipe part was just welded on, so that's not how it would look originally. It doesn't really look that bad of quality on the compressor housing. This cover is designed differently. Like the Garrett's don't look like this, where it's straight all the way down. Otherwise, it looks like a pretty good compressor housing, but the turbine housing isn't really that good of quality. Another thing to keep in mind is this was never machined for an O-ring, but Garrett never does that either. But I always go back and machine those for O-rings whenever I do rebuilds. That just helps it seal to the compressor housing. There's also a difference in the way the turbine housing inlets look. The one on the right is the genuine one, and the one on the left is the knockoff version. So the one on the left, another thing to note is, I think this is supposed to be a 0 
But if you look at the thickness here, in comparison to this one, this one almost looks bigger. So this may not be a true .82 either. To recap this video, I highly recommend that you read the reviews. I can't guarantee that all the knockoff GTX 35A2Rs look like this, but this one definitely surprised me because I thought they had the same style design as the genuine ones. If you have other ideas of YouTube videos similar to this one, you can always comment them in the comment section and that could be the next video on this channel.